Welcome to the video We're on cyclingnews.com and a credit to Wout Beal for getting this these images here. Remco, what do you think of the new bike, the new colorway? I think it looks pretty average. You know, the jersey is good. The Vamo jersey always looks good. But I think this is the one of the worst design specialized have flown out of China. Uh, the S-Works SL7, made in China, and nothing wrong with that, but it's a Chinese-made carbon bike. Um, he runs a zero offset seat post with this Durenrider spec seat slammed forward there. It's like a one, 110, 115 mil stem. Um, but yeah, the color. Uh, it's, and let's compare it to what Julian Alaphilippe got. Look at that. That that looks, you know, yeah, I've got the world champion bike. You know, I mean, this one here that Remco got, so it just looks like a white. Looks like he was he was world championship holder. You know, it looks like he was the world champ. It's reminiscent of, uh, well, this is Cipollini's bike back in 2003 when he was the world champ. He won the world champs in 2002. And this was Cipollini's version uh, of E5, you know, race bike, the Answer Works one. Look at that seat angle. I don't know how he would be pounding. He's putting his pig skin on the podium girl's chin. But look at that. Look at that seat angle. He pounded on the, pound the pig skin on that one. <laughs> Uh, hoods up high. That's a good setup, but uh, like 140 mil stem. <laughs> you know, fact of the day: Mario Cipollini slid into Natasha's DM saying, "How you going? Looking great, looking fit. Blah blah blah." So that's quite. You doing? You know, you're doing well with your girlfriend when the the ex world champ slides in the DMs. Um, all good. It's part of the being a celeb. Um, but yeah, look at this. Just a little stripe here. This this is even a better paint job. Than what Remco got. Look at that. From the side, you can't say nothing. See nothing. All right. It just looks like a spare bike off the team car. Let's look at. Let's do a bit more progress here. I and mean, it's got disc brakes. I won't make a comment on that one. <laughs> I've done enough videos about that one. This is that's a cool design. That's a cool. But this. I mean, this is, this looks like he was world champ. You know, it's like a little rainbow rainbow you know pattern on your sleeve collar. You know, it's like I was the world champ, and this is like reminiscent of that. Yeah, it's, it, it is a bit of a, a letdown, but hey, maybe Remco chose this colorway, and maybe he's just stoked with that. Who knows, all right? Make sure you do your stem bolts even. It looks like this one's a bit tight up top and underneath. Who, who, anyway, we've got to see both to really make an accurate assessment there. Legends are built, not born. That is true. Legends are built, all right? There's plenty of ways to build a legend when it comes to athletics. Um, so yeah, there's uh, we've got a rainbow chain catcher there. What we got here, um, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty lackluster bike. Yeah, the kit looks cool, but again, the world champ kit always looks good. But yeah, look at that man. Like, look at that. The helmet's pretty average. What's this crap? You know what I mean? Give him something that you know. Give him the full Cipollini spread. Look at this. Look at that. The jersey's great. Done well. Look at. I mean, like, where the bat? The jersey has to match the bike. I mean, Cipollini kicked the trend off back in the day. Right. This is what Cipollini had. All right. This was the the first real world champ bike that really celebrated the rainbow jersey, wasn't it? Like you had Oscar Freire and his Colnago, etc. But this was, you know, being specialized, really hyping it up. You know, this was the bike in two thousand and three. Uh, and nice little bike. I've ridden these before. Not a bad bike. Better than SL seven, that's for sure. Uh, isn't it isn't it ironic you could literally build up this bike lighter than the SL seven? That's crazy. Uh, but I think Alaphilippe's is the best of the modern day era uh, tarmac bikes, specialised bikes that have been painted in the world champ edition. That's just my comments and criticisms. Let me down down below. Do you, are you a fan of Remco's bike colour as first world problems? But hey, we're living in the first world here and we might as well share opinions on it. What do you think about it? The jersey looks cool, but actually I'm not sure about this thing here. Why does this cut into the, uh, the rainbow? Yeah. Is, that's not good. Natasha's just here as well. She's like, that's not a good look. It's full, full spectrum, like full color. It's like fucking cut off. It's like someone's. What's, that? What's going on? <laughs> it's, like, it's like you stretched it out or something. It's like, it's like the fabrics ran. What do you call it in the hosey when your stockings run? When your stockings run, it's like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's not a good look. It's like someone's put a fucking pizza cutter through there with the disc rotor. <laughs> <laughs> and does look, does look like someone's disc rotor slashed the jersey. You know? Yeah, it does. Not it feeling does. that. Not feeling that at all. The, I see some texture here. That sort of textual effect looks, looks, looks all right. Looks like this guy over here has cut his j nicks off with a pair of scissors. He's got no uh, thing on that. That's all good. But uh, 
those BMCs, by the way, check them for the crack steerer. They do crack a lot. If you've got a friend who's got a BMC disc brake bike, check the steerer. They do crack. I've seen a few steerers crack, and I've had, I've had a few, few of them fail out there from people who've ridden them. So be careful with D-shaped steerer tubes. Be careful with any, any fork, but especially the BMC. Get them checked out. Stat. That's my comments and criticisms. We wish Remco a great season ahead, as we do all the riders out there. It's a very, very dangerous job. One minute you're in it, next minute you're eating hospital food. So be safe out there, gang, and uh, we'll see you next video.